people just want you to they want you to be insecure they want they want you to not challenge them or intimidate them they just want you to stay in your little corner and be quiet i'm not doing that i'm doing whatever i want to do i've always done whatever i want to do i'm giving me whatever i want i'm gonna get it <laughs> that's how we all should be so once you believe something to be true it is true. You attract the energy of it being the truth. Um, so I kept that kind of like thinking that no one would really like me and that I wasn't that great. <laughs> and in doing that, I attracted a lot of people who I didn't feel would truly match up to my ideal self and um, I didn't feel worthy of attracting people who were and people who were I thought wouldn't like me and because that was the energy that I was giving off I was attracting people who had that energy <laughs> so I would be afraid of being abandoned and then I'd get cheated on so I had that going on for a good amount of years and I didn't recognize it I just was caught up in the emotions of it So I will get into detail on other episodes about uh, specific relationships and what I learned from them. I do think that that is an important thing to talk about. Um, those of you who know me might be able to guess who I'm talking about, but I'm not going to be talking about anyone else's personal information or, you know, nothing that would cross any boundaries or make anyone feel any type of negative way that will not be my intention throughout this at all um but anyway obviously we know from what i talked about in my childhood where this energy stems from and uh, i think about two years ago now i got ancestry.com and i did a vlog about it i was trying to find my father my birth father um, and I ended up finding him through Ancestry, through a cousin, and we got in contact and stayed in contact, um, although never met in person, and I'm going on vacation here soon. I'm not going to tell you guys where yet, because I don't want anyone to stalk me, but <laughs> I'm going somewhere warm, and it's the state he's from and so I'm planning on meeting my dad for the first time it feels weird calling him my dad because I'm 30 and like he's what he wasn't my dad growing up but like I don't know what else to call him like I don't know it's a weird it's a really weird situation I told somebody and they were like how you feel about that and I was like I don't know and I don't want to put uh, I don't care about like you guys knowing about my emotions, but I don't want to put too much information on the internet And I wouldn't want him or anyone else to see this and feel like negative or pressured in any way um, But yeah, I so I don't know if I'm actually going to film me actually meeting him because I don't want to cross any boundaries with somebody that I don't know and That's like a super personal moment in life, but I am open to telling you guys about my emotions going through this because I know that a lot of other people have gone through similar things and or maybe like have never met one of their parents and they're curious about what this is going to be like for me. So I'll be happy to tell you. Um, I do think it is interesting. <laughs> I don't know man, it's an interesting situation. I am almost 30 and so it's not like I'm going to meet someone who's going to raise me and I don't feel sad or mad or anything. I'm 
really thankful for my childhood and my whole life thus far. It's been amazing. I mean, I'm super blessed and uh, I wouldn't change a thing. Um, but I love the expansion and I'm excited to get to know somebody whose DNA is half of me. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I will let you guys know how that goes. I'm pretty awkward talking about it because I don't even know what emotions I'm feeling, which is weird for me. I'm usually great at communicating and like knowing how I'm feeling and why I'm feeling that way, but I don't know. I guess the way I feel about it is that I know I am whole no matter who is or isn't in my life. So I just find joy in getting to experience more expansion and meet more people who can connect me to more expansion. <laughs> I will talk to you guys in the next episode. It might take me a while because I'm going to be on vacay for like a few days. Okay. Peace out. My, what are they called? <laughs> so you came for the tea. <laughs>